very good morning to you. On Sunday, we looked at Ezekiel's vision of the river of life, focusing on the fact that the river of life came from God on high. Yesterday, we noticed that from God, the river of life came through the temple, his church, for us today. Today, we look at the river of life itself. Did you notice how Ezekiel's river deepened water to the ankle, to the knee, to the waist, at last water to swim in? There is something wrong with our Christian experience if it is not an ever-deepening tide. Within two kilometers of its source, Ezekiel's river was too deep for any crossing. Two kilometers. Look back on your earthly pilgrimage. Count up the mounting kilometers that you have traveled since consciously you committed your life to Christ and his discipleship. Has it been a deepening river, a growing knowledge of God, an ever-increasing surprise, a fresh and wearied wonder at the grace and power of Christ? Some of us with sorrow would have to confess that the stream which began perhaps 10, 20, 30 or 40 years back is but a meagre, scanty little rivulet still. And never once in our lives have we known what it could mean, in Ezekiel's phrase, to have water to swim in. Perhaps some would even say, the stream that sprang sparkling from beneath the altar of the temple of the Lord when I was confirmed or converted or ordained, is only a memory for me. It died out kilometers back, there amongst the sands and rocks of life, and only the dry, empty channel is left to show where a river ought to have been. How many religious revivals have been like a stream, which runs ever more shallow as it goes on its way, to lose itself in some barren waste in the sand, the economist has his law of diminishing returns. And there seems to be a similar tendency in the spiritual life and even in the ministry. Only too often the vital creative impulse dies down. Inspiration is replaced by routine. And instead of the breath of God's creative spirit invigorating us, we struggle to keep going, becoming peddlers of God's word and sacraments. But it does not need to be like that. Ezekiel's vision is true. It is a real truth of our Christian faith. From strength to strength, from insight to insight, from glory to glory, from love of Christ you have today to a still more burning passion of devotion tomorrow, from this year's certainty of God to next year's still more impregnable conviction, the river deepening with every kilometre. It is not pretense. It really happens. And the secret? There is only one way I know. Keep the fellowship of Jesus. Stay your mind upon God. Keep going back to him in prayer, meditation, reading the Bible, keeping fellowship and worshipping him. Listening, above all, listening to his voice orientating your life towards him, identifying yourself with the will of God, which is true worship. His spirit will do the rest and you will make discoveries you have never thought possible. And remember, everything shall live where the river goes. Yes, even the Dead Sea itself, all the Devastations of the world, secularized, paganized, corrupted, divided, east from west, nation from nation, capitalist from communist, black from white, rich from poor. Yes, even the church half suffocated by its own churchiness, souls gone stale and stagnant, religion deadened and becoming mere respectability. Everything lives our own so often frustrated and defeated lives, our youthful hopes and visions and ideals ravaged 
and wrecked over the years and our spiritual impotence and deadness of heart. Everything lives where the river goes. Let us pray. Almighty God, our Father, we pray indeed that our experience of your river of life may be an ever-increasing and deepening relationship with you, and wonder upon wonder, from strength to strength, insight to insight, glory to glory, love of Christ today to still more burning passion of devotion tomorrow, from this year's certainty of God to next year's still more impregnable conviction. This we ask. In Jesus' holy name. Amen. Go now to grow in your faith, experiencing ever-deepening waters of His love, joy and peace. Amen. Amen.